Alright guys, um, good afternoon and welcome to my another tutorial, uh, video tutorial for this session. Um, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna create a pigeonator for my project. But before I can proceed to my project, I need this pigeonator to be created first so that I can use later on. Um, I'm gonna record uh, doing this pigeonator so that I'm gonna... Um, show, show show to you uh, on how to create this pigeonator uh, if you don't know what is pigeonator so this is the pigeonator um, usually it's used in um, uh, viewing pro uh, viewing uh, information like products orders or customers you can next if you like to view for example like this you will do page 4 then you can click page 4 and then display the um, current um, products or data under that page okay so that's what we are going to do um, yep I already opened here the sublime text created the folder pigeonator so I created in our directory which is located in the bar www and html so so this is a pigeonator, so pigeonator folder and we have index.php okay so before we can proceed uh, maybe we need to create a a database first and a sample data so that we can what do we call this one we can use it in actual so we're gonna create a database um, maybe we call it pigeonator and then uh, and then we're gonna create a table um, maybe we will call it um, sample data or something like that create table sample data and then <coughs> okay and then we then we create a data um, something like that I think that's fine for now and then we're gonna open our terminal um, I'm going to access MySQL. Um, in my MySQL, I set password to 1345. And then I don't have PHP my admin yet, so we're going to use this terminal for now. Um, create, create table, sample data, use pigeonator. Hmm. All right, so create table. Um, this is yep. ID it should be N. Copy that one and then paste. All right, so here, so we have our sample data table. So we're gonna populate um, data in that particular table because we don't have the if you select um, sample data so we don't have yet data for now so we're gonna create um, um, okay so we're gonna use in this tutorial we're gonna use my SQL I um, to connect to the database so I think this is um, okay for now because in my real project I use the val and I use also a what the ORM in my database management uh, when we when, when I do databasing but um, yep but in this tutorial I'm gonna use my SQL connect so that uh, we can handle the pigeonation um, as, as fast as I, we can <clears throat> so we're gonna use a username, password, and then 
database uh, pagination. Okay. And then we're gonna create a sample uh, data. So maybe we will just make it 200 rows. Okay, so and then values would be um, five we're gonna use a random random what do we call this one a random data just for just for um, test data for our pagination so we're gonna access that one we're gonna wait until it's created so it's loading so it's currently creating a data in our database what I mean so we're gonna check it here gonna check it here let's say select um, let's just check if it's created oops so no data has been created yet that's the problem one second um, insert into my into into sample data values Um, I'm wrong. It should be by. Check it if again. It's not creating. Um, we're gonna check the connection. So for uh, you, I should have. Maybe it's not working. Okay. Point on blah blah blah. Gonna check it here. All right, so it's working. So we have sample data now. Um, let's count how many data has been created. So we have 200 rows. So we're gonna use that one for our pagination. So we're gonna remove this one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we have uh, already data for our for test data. So we connected already for to our database. Now we're gonna create a class name. Um, we're gonna name it um, Pigeonator. Oops, I'm gonna replace this one to HP. So here in our class Pigeonator, um, we're gonna create a for four data uh, four four variables which is the limit limit is the it's used for the number of rows that you want to display in every page let's say you, you set the limit to 30 so basically the uh, data or the rows that you're gonna that you're gonna uh, see is um, 30 or the, it depends in your settings let's say 50 or 20 it's up to you and then the pagination or the paginator will automatically adjust it depends the limit that you is set so we're gonna create a 
three um, variable which first would be the limit um, second would be the page um, the page would be what do we call this one um, the current page set up okay so the current page that is being selected if there's no page selected then basically the first page would be default or selected by default and of course you're gonna use uh, you're gonna need um, query and then of course our database connection let's just call it DB okay so we're gonna call it this again So, oops, I don't have docs right now, so we're gonna install <coughs> one moment. So we have limit page uh, database and then we have query. Okay, so okay, this one the blocker so that we can set a comment what type of variable that we are declaring. So for example in our limit, so that would be a integer. Right, so this would be n. This would be um, still n. You can add description if you like. Um, this one, uh, maybe we will just set it to mix for now. And this one, this would be string. And then, of course, you need to create a constructor we're gonna pass the DV we're gonna pass the um, query and then we're gonna pass it to the to the variable that we created above so we're gonna call it DV I'm gonna pass it now because I'm gonna use those um, variable later on from in my other in my other method. So so and then here um, we're gonna go we're gonna create another method which we call um, get data. So this will gonna get the data and then. Um, gonna call um, create another method which will create the links okay <clears throat> and then in our get data um, we're gonna pass limit and then we're gonna pass the page but we're gonna set it to default 1 and then this one we're gonna set it to default 30 okay so in our case we're gonna call the limit and then pass it limit page so here um, why I create get data get data will be the one I'm gonna uh, data from from the current set of page like for example if the selected if the selected page is five then we're gonna pass it here in our get data by default it is one and then if user or, or if I would like to change it not 30 like for example when I would like to change it to 100 then I can set in my get data method to 100 so that's why I can um, uh, set whatever value I like or I wanted okay so in our limit maybe we're gonna what do we call this one we're gonna check limit so if limit is um, <clears throat> greater than zero then we can set it to the value if it's not set then it's 30 I think that's fine okay and then here uh, Alright, so we have limit, we're gonna set it to 30. <clears throat> In our 
query would be select or from sample data um, we're gonna um, result um, probably result query result on query and then we're gonna pass the query variable okay and here we get we don't we need we have uh, we need um, the total number of rows dy dynamically um, earlier we created 200 rows but in an actual data you don't know what's the value or what's the number of total it depends on the data that users created or it depends on your query so if, if, if the query returns of that 1000 records or 1000 rows then that would be the total number of rows so we're gonna okay and then here um we need to catch the page so so we need to patch the page so if the page is ice or set then we need to return um, the page value in the URL later on because it, it's gonna look like this for example index page P and then page is equal to 5 so if user selected 5 so that would be the page value if default then there would be no value of page or maybe it's just like it's just a a pigeonator or just an index.php so there's no set value for page <clears throat> so if not set then we need to set it one so for example if not set then default we're gonna set it to one okay so we're gonna create also one second I'm gonna copy this one gonna create a page door because <clears throat> we're gonna create a tab table below okay so here we don't do those we don't need those data okay and then here um reset ready so we're gonna check if there is no problem the problem my sql sample data query um second query resolve numbers what's the name of our table sample data all right so we have con pigeonator select all from sample data query solve con set page okay oh, one second so table table is created one of the total rows Okay, so we have 200, currently we have 200 rows, and page is I said, <clears throat> alright, so, all good, so what's next, so here, we we'll go back in our 
so we can have connection then we have query we set the limit and then also we check the page if, if the page is set then we pass the value of the page in the url or from the url like for example um index of page p and then the page is five and so i two so we're gonna pass it the value whatever value is set and then if not set then we're gonna set it to one and then of course we need the total we're going to calculate the value of how many pages that we are going to display or if how many pages is gonna created based on the data from the sample data table so we're gonna use that one and then of course we're gonna use the limit of the rows that you are gonna uh, use okay so let's go back in our data so here um we um we set this limit and page and then we pass the the, the database so this would be div and then this would be query all right and then of course um we need the query so that we can query from our um, database so where is the okay so and then after that we're gonna set the limit so the default limit is 30 right we set it here so we're gonna set that one now comma and then we have <coughs> okay so we're gonna put it um offset and then the limit here so our offset would be the first and then the limit then of course um, we need also the offset variable okay so we need also that one so we have page one times the value of limit okay <clears throat> so we have page here okay so we have page um, yep I think we don't need to I think we don't need to check if if how many if the if the the page is set or not because it's default to one and also it's um check it here if not set then we set to one right so i think we don't need that one okay and then we need um the query so we're gonna call the dv and then we're gonna um, query pass it the query variable okay so here we need, we're gonna set and then set the data while we're gonna pass return the data um okay limit pass data query so we're gonna <clears throat> pass the rows um pitch array and then since we are using my sqli so we're gonna pass the type of query that you are going to use so we're gonna use as of for now since we are gonna accessing the field name okay and then later on i mean in here in the table we're gonna access that one we're gonna pass the data okay and then row all right so we have this okay data so we're gonna check first we have query rows 
and then of course um, we need to call the paginator class here paginator we're gonna pass the con and the query and we're gonna include it to the top file paginator okay and then data we're gonna call the data that we created in our paginator class so go back here we need limit and then we need the page wire so we set the limit and we set the page okay then after that what's next as the page here offset um yeah um if you notice the offset is minus one because the the, the page value when in our query um we're gonna we're gonna start with zero so if the value is one then of the page and we need to minus it once it becomes um zero okay so this one this would be this would be times for example um the offset is what do we call this the starting point for example if the offset value is zero meaning the data the, uh, the query will limit from offset zero to the limit so for example you have 200 rows and then the offset is the, the offset is this one i mean this one is zero then it will start from the very beginning of your uh, data in in your table so from the start so first value of the table so for example here so this would be zero and then this would be one two three and so on so that is how um should query the using the limit so this would be the offset zero so for example if the page is one that would be that would be um zero if two that would be one because we minus it to one so basically this would become one so one times 30 that would be 30. so in our limit this would become 30 in an actual uh, query this would be 30. so it's going to start with the third in, in in the 30 row number 30 rows going to to counting to count to 1 to 31 32 going to um whatever value is the limit so if it's 30 then it will count to 30 so start 30 count to 30 okay so something like this for example in our in our data um our limit is five so we set our limit based on this data that in our in, in my terminal if the limit is five and the z in the and the offset is zero so basically it will start here because zero this would be uh one two three four or five this would be the result in your database so for example i'm gonna show you now select let's say um i'm gonna use this one zero and then we set it to five limit so what would be what do you think is the result so that would be it should be one to five row see that and then if i was start to five so what would be the result that would be six to ten something like that that's what i mean uh, that that is what uh, uh, i'm gonna what that that's what i'm want to explain to you guys the, the usage of limit in query so for example I'm gonna change the limit to 30 and then and then it start with 0 then that would be 1 to 30 something like that okay so, so this is how it should because if I'm gonna sh 
because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna remove the minus in the page if the value of the page is one and then minus one I know remove the minus and then the value of page is zero so basically um, or one so the result would be it will start to second row as you can see the ID is two and then it's six and the, the last would be six but the number one is missing so that's why I'm gonna we're gonna start with zero offset to zero so it will start from the very beginning because when the page is loaded um, and there's no page selected yet so basically we're gonna we're gonna display the number of rows that you're gonna that you're gonna display so if it's 30 then it default would be 0 or 1 to 30 row data from your um, database so that's it okay so for example here let's say we're gonna test this one all right so we're gonna test this one check if it's getting data from database and a bar dump the uh, I'm just gonna use bar dump for now because I don't have a uh, PHP debug or X debug installed in this machine in this virtual machine but I'm gonna create another video on how to set up that one okay so just bear with me guys all right so it's getting data but it's not look good so we're gonna um, maybe we're gonna use this table <clears throat> okay so It looks nicer. <clears throat> so we're gonna call this one data item, move the bar dump, and then we're gonna echo out the what we call the item. So first is the ID and then we get item data is that data let's double check all right it's data so here refresh okay so we have um, currently it's 30 so this is what I'm uh, tell you about regarding with the limit so if you're gonna change the limit to 10 then it would be 10 so that would be the uh, display so earlier I explained about the page minus 1 so if I'm gonna move, remove this one and just like that let's check if what is the result uh, yeah so basically it start with 11 but if you notice we don't have page value in our URL yet so by default it should be zero it would start with 1 not 11 or it should start with the first row of our data in our table so that's why I need the minus one so if the value of this page is one or if the page is not set then minus one not set it is one then minus one that would be zero so the offset now becomes zero so the result will be corrected it should start with um, what we call this one it should start with first row okay one second all right okay so if I will refresh this back it should start with 1 to 10 so we do already now 
the display of our data and then we set the limit to what do we call this one to 10 so what we need now is we need another method so earlier we created a method but we remove it so we will create a method make or we will call it okay so we created the link so what we're gonna do here let's go back here actually this total rows i think we don't need this one because we're gonna use the query here um, that we passed on our constructor so we're gonna create results tv and then we have we get the query so this query is what we declared here and then we pass it from here so right now so now since we have this we're gonna calculate the pages so to calculate the pages we are gonna simply um, divide it the total number of rows in our database divide by the limit that we set so for example um, result that number rows divide by the limit that we set so whatever limit it's set here and then it pass it here and then pass it to the constructor uh, to the get data here all right and then it should be used inside the create links so result numbers divide divide by the limit but here we need to use sale method in php so sale will um run run off the number of, uh let's check it here if the value is 6.5 the result would be seven so still let's read the description returns the next highest integer value so it's rounding up so if the value if the result of division is 3.4 then the next would be four so the result of the pages would be four why is that because for example if we're mul multiplying 200 rows let's say um, check up I'm sorry the calculator <clears throat> so if the value is if we have 200 rows divided by limit which is 30 there will be a remaining decimal point which if we just set it to six then the remaining data in our database will not be displayed or will not be included so we're gonna for example there are five or ten datas that are remaining so we're gonna put it to five data to the page seven so that's why we need to run up to so become 6.6 .6 would become seven that's why we use uh sale here for sale method from from php so so this great link will return a what do we call this one a string so for example <clears throat> if the we're gonna filter it out if the numbers is equal or less than or equal to zero or is equal to zero then we just simply return empty so we will not return the links okay so here we're gonna create the ul um, for example ul and then we need to create ul here we're gonna use ul to display the number and then here we have um, we're gonna use loop for that so let's say for example if i is zero um one so it become one if one for i is 
less than or equal to the number of pages that we calculated above plus plus and then we will call the ul okay and then we just simply uh, let's say we will change instead of uh, let's change it to number because since that is a number of page so something like that so we calculated so in in our case here we create the they would get the data we pass the limit the page and then maybe we just go all the links here so paginator dot what's the name create links that and then we go out okay let's test if there's no problem so we'll check query cell pages if numbers is less than or equal to zero return empty if not so we got to return uh maybe not ul pages i uh, know not pages um I think you are good for now. Let's start the test. Press. Oops. Problem. Let's go back. Seal DB query. This query. Let's pass it here. Alright. Torn. Limit. For numbers. Auto eyes. Then page number plus plus. Concatenate. You, uh, oops, I forgot the semicolon. Refresh the page. Number of pages. Mm -hmm. mm, that's right. U L U L. One second, let's remove this first. A copigenator create links. Return empty if zero numbers. One second, let's just check. Um, let's just return the pages number. That's correct. It's calculated 20, so meaning that's 20 pages. So here, so the problem would be here UL. Uh, okay, we forgot to change the loop. So it looks like this now. So this, these are our pages. So we're gonna style this one so maybe um, list type none <coughs> and, this mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. display in line so that it second let's check it first all right and then we add the inline it should be like that maybe we need to add margin or maybe yeah so zero top right would be five top right zero create another page uh space to create a link um, this would be pages is equal to like that per page I mean okay so if I'm gonna so if you notice guys if I will hover this one and then if you check at bottom here you will see the number of page 
20 because we have 200 rows and then we divide it to uh, what do we call this one um, if we divide it to 10 so it becomes 20 so pages that would be the number of pages okay so if I'm gonna refresh this one and then I'm gonna click 14 it will automatically move the data see that so the last one would be 20 page and the value of um, data would be in 191 to 200 so if I'm gonna remove this one and refresh the default would become 1 to 10 since we set it here so if it's not set then it should be 1 so if I'm gonna change this one basically that also change the, the, the number of rows displayed so and then of course the number of um, pages will change too because 200 divided by the limit which is 30 that would be uh, uh, another value so that's so this one so if you notice that one we have this is what I'm telling you earlier that 200 divide 4 the, the result is 6.6 .6 something and that would be six pages if, if I'm gonna remove this seven then uh, the result will only be limit to 180 but what about the 20 rows if we if we will remove the seven if we will not use cell method in our PHP here so if I'm if we remove this uh, what we call this cell method then it will not rounding up or round up to to the nearest highest number so we sh we need cell method for that so that it will get the value of 7 so since the result is 6.6 .6, next would up rounding up that would be 7 so that would be uh, for the remaining data from from our database Okay, so so that's as you can see our pagination now is working so I'm gonna copy this one and then I'm gonna remove it I'm gonna I mean add it below and create another page below like for example if the page I'm gonna add this another tweak so for example if the current page which is the car our current page is the page this page or if the number is equal to this page <clears throat> so we're gonna change this one let's say custom number label so if it's equal uh, we're gonna We're gonna use we're gonna put a what do we call this a indication that we are here in this but that we selected this page so something like that all right so if I'm going to go to four so as you can see I'm here in number four three so we have indication we have bracket and it's up to you to what do we call this one to adjust or to to extend the the CSS or whatever type of you want to use if you have to make it bold then if you like then it's up to you guys and then we have pages so something like that okay alright okay so um, this would be um, I think this is for this is good for the first video I'm gonna create another video extension so what would be our next video is the continue the continue continuation of this video which I'm going to add a what do we call them 
what do we call this one um, a page shortcut like for example we have let's say for example uh, I'm gonna change this one to 10 and then I of course this would be good because our data is just 200 rows but what about if I have 1,000 rows or more than a million rows or 5,000 rows and then this will create many pages here which is not good so we're gonna extend this one um, to add a shortcut one so for example I'm just wanted to show the number of the, uh, the number of pages let's say 10 so I'm gonna display only 10 and then the remaining pages I'm going to hide that one and then the pages will automatically adjust once I click forward or next so I'm gonna also add previews and um, next link to this pagination okay so thank you and see you in the next video